Hello, welcome back to our virtual building club. Today we are going to build a marionette. Kinda. <laughs> so this one is kind of like a bird that I made. Uh, it got a little tangled, but that's okay. Oh, there we go, we fixed it. We can make him walk, and he's pretty cool. So I'm gonna show you how to make it, and you're going to need help from an adult because you have to use a glue gun for this one. But it's a lot of fun if you, know, you use the scissors to do it. So we're gonna need a little piece of felt that I made for the beak. It's kind of like a half a oval. And we need fish wire and something for weights. I'm using these little binder rings. And we need some googly eyes and two popsicle sticks. And you can make whatever animal you want, but I'm gonna make a little bird. And we need some four, four of these puffies, puffy pom-poms, I guess, and feathers. Okay. Oh, and a string of beads, if I did not say that one. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to make smaller balls for the feet and the head. So we're gonna do three of them smaller. So you're gonna need a trash can for this one because it gets really messy. <laughs> okay, so first we're gonna take our scissors and we're going to cut around it and make them a little bit smaller and try to go around evenly. This might take a little bit. Okay, I think that's about it. So you want two other ones like that. Now that we have our three little pom-poms that are a little smaller, like all of our trash in the trash can that wasn't on the floor, <laughs> now we have four. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start connecting them. So I think what I'm going to do is first I'm going to put the little rings on the bottom. So you can either put the glue, you know what, we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna go all the way around with some hot glue on the top of it, being very careful not to get your fingers. And then you're gonna take the pom-pom and you just like right on top of it and press down just a little bit. And then do the same on the other one. There we go. And press it down. And there are our two little feet. Okay. And now we're going to decorate the head. So I think we're going to put our beak on first. So to do that, we're going to put a glob of glue right here. and then squish together our little oval shape of felt and press it on. And if you don't like it open like that, what I did with the other one is I just put a little bit of glue in the middle and I squished it together. And it seemed to work pretty good. And now we need these little eyes. So you just go on either side and put your little googly eyes on. Now we're going to put some feathers on them, and I picked purple and pink because I thought they were cute with yellow. So I think we're going to put blue purple on his head. So I'm going to pick the smallest one I have here, and I'm just going to cut off a little bit because they're slightly a little too big for his head, and I think that's cute. So we're going to put a little bit of glue on his head right here, and we're going to stick the feather on. There he is. Okay, now we're gonna decorate the body. And he needs some wings. Or not a wings, he needs a tail feather. We're not doing wings for this one. So we're just gonna clip a little bit off of purple. And I think we're gonna use a pink one. And how about two purple? So there we go. And that's what his wing, his uh, tail feather is gonna look like. Like that. Okay, so you put a glob of glue on the back of these, the big pom-pom that we didn't cut and you just squish the feathers in. 
and it'll take a little bit to dry so make sure you don't touch it too much but I kind of like squishing it just a little bit so it kind of like gets in there better okay so now I got the parts ready oh all but this one <laughs> it's all over the place so we're gonna put a glob of glue right here and then you just stick it on top so now we have all our parts together so now we're gonna start connecting them with these beads. And I think what I did with the other one is I did 11 beads for the feet. So we'll count out 11. So eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And we'll do the same for the other one. So we'll do 11 beads. Eight, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and be careful putting the bead in. And while that dries, we'll do the other one. There we go. Okay, and now for the head, I connected it to the body with seven beads. So three, four, five, six, seven. So I think I'm just going to put it on the head instead of the body. So I just put some glue and stick the bead on. And let that one dry. And while it's drying, we're going to take the body and we're going to flip it over and put two globs of glue on any, both sides of it and then stick the bead on. And just give that a little bit of time to dry. Okay, and the hard part is going to be stringing it. Well, it's not really hard, it's just a little bit harder than gluing it together. <laughs> so we're going to put some up on top and then we're just going to glue the head on. Try to keep it this way because sometimes you can glue it back on and it could be turned the other way. And that's the way it's going to want to stick. <laughs> okay. So now to string it, I noticed that when you just tie it around the neck, it'll make the head droop. So what I did to connect it is I just cut two beads off like this, and I glued one to the back of its body right here, and then one to the top of its head behind its little feather. Here we go. Okay, so first, when our feet are dry, it looks like they're dry enough, we're going to cut some string. And you're going to want them longer because um, you don't want them to be enough. Okay, so we're that. So that's how much we want for that. And then we're going to want one for the head and then for the body. So we're going to cut two more. Okay, so now you take the sticks, and this part is just a little bit tricky. Oh, yeah, you stuck to the table there. There we go. Okay, so first we're going to connect the head. And I think I'm going to want my string a little shorter for this. Okay, so first we're going to tie it around the beads on the top. glue it up on the, t or not glue it up, but tie it and then glue it on the top. So I think I want it this far away from the bottom, or far away from the handle. So we're gonna tie this. Now that we got that tied, we're just gonna put a little bit of glue on it so it stays in place. And then you just cut off the excess. Okay, so now we got the head. That's how that's gonna go. And then the body is gonna be glued on next, and you're gonna wanna glue that on the back of this stick. Here we go. Okay, now that we got that tied on, 
you want it about, I think, this far, and you tie it up on the popsicle stick. You flip it over, make it easier. And there's its head and body. And now we just gotta connect the feet. And it will be all done. And there we have it. There's our little puppet. It took a little bit, but it's always fun to make them walk. So, thank you for joining me in my virtual building club.